Hello friend, today we will discuss about the self view of the CNN 6514 slot. On the right hand side, you can see this is the self view of the CNN 6514 slot. So in CNN 6514 slot, there are total 70 slots in which 14 slots are fixed for the service slot. So it is called the 14 slot self. Slot number 1 to 6 and slot number 9 to 14 are fixed for the service slot and we can install it. OCLD, OCI, MERS, OTR, MOTR, TRM, any other card which is used for the dropping of the service. So here you are seeing the slot 1 to slot 6, slot 9 to slot 14. These are the service slots. Slot 7 and slot 8. These two slots are fixed for the cross connect card. Slot 15 and slot 16 are fixed for the self processor. This is the slot 15 and this is the slot 16. These two slots are fixed for the self processor. Here you are seeing on slot 17. Slot 17 are divided into three sub slot. 17 1 and 17 3 sub slot is fixed for the power card. Slot 17 sub slot 3 is fixed for the MIC maintenance interface card. So on the top you can see 15.1, 15-2, 15-3 are fixed for the fan card and this is the access panel 15-1 this is the access panel so we will discuss about this access panel at the end of this slide so we'll move on the next so here are the LED indication on each card you will get these three LED indications so we will need to discuss about uh, what does mean so first one is the rectangle triangle fail when the rectangle LED is on, it means there is a hardware or the software failure. When the card is not filled, this LED will be off. Green rectangle. When the green rectangle LED is on, it means the card is OK. When this green LED rectangle is blinking, it means it's initializing. And when this LED is off, it means card is not ready. Third one is the blue diamond. Blue diamond indicates whether we can pull out the card out or not. So the card can be extracted out or not. This can be uh, defined by this LED. When this, is, uh, this LED is on, it means the equipment is in service and we can't pull the circuit pack out. When this LED is off, we can uh, make the equipment out. So these are the LED indication. And on based of this LED indication, we can uh, initially troubleshoot about the hardware. Uh, so here you are seeing the 40 G OCLD card in slot 1. Here we will discuss about detail in uh, slot 1, 2, 3, 4 and what the cards in the slots. So here uh, in the first slot there is the OCLD card. So this is the pack number of this OCLD card. This is the description of this OCLD card. This is EDC 40 G OCLD 1 into OTU 3 plus GWD. It's C band. It's LED indications. This denotes the critical measure minor and warning. So 40 G OCLD, there are two types of 40 G OCLD card, 40 G OCLD and wavelength selective 40 G OCLD. 40 G OCLD are used to implement mapping wrapping functionality to a G0709 DWDM line. The 40G OCLD and wavelength selective 40G OCLD circuit packs include a single 40G tunable OTM3 line interface and this line interface is used to connect uh, this line interface slot to the MUX-GMUX unit. So uh, the benefits of this 40 g card, this can consume uh, less power, improve PMG tolerance, improve reach, balance pin coherent receiver, along for wavelength selective when used in colorless photonic system. And this is the advantage of wavelength selective 40 g OCLD over the 40 g OCLD card. Forty G MOX card in slot two. So forty G MOX card into forty G OCLD card. Both these cards are connected uh, via the back lane. So these are the forty G uh, MOX card pack number specifications and a forty G MOX OCI circuit pack is this and this is used for the transparent aggregation of up to four ten G client channels into a G not seven zero nine or two three plus signal for handoff across the back plane to the adjacent forty G OCLD. 
so this mux card is used for the aggregation of the services and then it uh, converted to the uh, line signal which is uh, connected via the backplane to the 40 GOCLD card and then it is going to the Muxtimux unit. So detailed discussion about this card will be discussed in the next CNS card session. 100G Mux card, so in the same way like 40G Mux card, in 100G Mux card there are 10, 10 into 10G Mux XSP. So we can aggregate 10G, 10, 10G services and there is a backplane connectivity with this 100G OCLD card. So 10 into 10G MUX can be equipped with the 10G SFP based client interface that support Ethernet 10G. Each 10G client is independently configurable and independently operated. The SFP plus module has the same form factor as conventional SFP module but support higher data rates. The 10 into 10G MUX circuit pack is used for transparent aggregation of up to 10G client channel for handoff across the backplane to the adjacent 100G OCLD. These all are the OCLD type card. So this 100G MUX is con uh, connected by the backplane with the 100G OCLD card and there are different types of 100G OCLD card. So in the next slide here is a 100G OCLD in slot 4. So there are different types of 100G OCLD card. The OCLD circuit packs are used to implement mapping wrapping functionality to a G0709 DWDM line and include a 100 single 100G C-band tunable OT4 DWDM line interface and this interface is used to connect the MUX to MUX unit. There are different types of OCLD card. OCLD card is stand for the optical channel laser detection. So first one the 100G OCLD circuit pack, 100G OCLD W3 OCLD circuit pack, WL3 stands for the Wave Logic 3, 100G WL3E Wave Logic 3 extended OCLD circuit pack, FLAX2. FLAX2 comes in the two variants. WL3 and WL3E. Flex 3 and Flux 4 comes only in one variant that is WL3E OCLD circuit packs. This is 40G OCLD card in the slot 5. We have already discussed about this because this is a card same which is in the slot 1. 40G MUX card in the slot 6, here in slot 6 again the 40G MUX card which we have already discussed that were in the slot 2. Filler in slot 7. So what is the importance of the filler card? So for a specific feeder rating and the combination of circuit packs, fulfill may not be possible and some or all of the remaining slots may have to be equipped with the filler circuit pack to avoid exceeding the cell power capacity. So to avoiding exceeding the cell power capacity, we use the filler. Before equipping the uh, self with the high power circuit packs, you must always consider about the power budgeting and power feeds. So it is required to fill all the unequipped slot. So it can be equipped with the filler cards. Filler in the slot 8. 40 g OCLD card in slot 3 again. Here is the 40G OCLD card which was previously uh, in 5th and slot 1. OTN Flex MOTR card in slot 10. So here in slot 10 we are using the OTN Flex MOTR card. So these are the pack number and uh, specifications. The 8 into OTN Flex MOTR circuit packs are used up to 8 SSP optics for the Flex interfaces from the circuit pack facelift to provide up to 10 gigabits of the bidirectional traffic up to two clients can be mapped on one OT1 line port. This circuit pack supports mate to mate OTN flex and OTR configuration that are allow connection providing OD0, OD1, OD flex connections between the 1 plus 8 into OTN flex and OTR circuit packs in mated pair form. Flex contains two OTM1 lines or OTM2 lines. Here you see seeing this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the 8 port and this is the 1 port which is the com combination of these ports and this is connected to the line. Audio flex pass through connection between OTM2 lines in adjacent slot. Flex clients to flex clients, client help in. For this discussion of this card, we will discuss in the next Sayana Sayana card session. So here again the filler in slot 11 and slot 12. Slot 13 is for 100G MOX card which is uh, used for the 10 into 10G different uh, service slots. 100G OCLD card in slot 14. So 
apart from this uh, slot 15 and slot 16 which is used for the service processor so the service processor key pack provides the following functionality uh, these are the functionality which can be provided by the service processor card perform software management for the self software management for all circuit packs on the self software firmware and fpga load so this service pack is responsible for the software management uh, or the self software management for all the circuit packs maintains backup copy of the system software on a flash disk manage all self communication across the central office tcn colan local intercell lan and intrasite lan via optical data communication channel dcc or optical service channel so self communication so uh, we can uh, manage the communication of the self by different um, means and uh, this is managed by the self processor manage and monitor the other circuit packs in the self and provide the oem interface for monitoring and provisioning the self maintaining self provisioning database and on self backups and it also provided 10 10 or 100 based t interface on the face plate for access the craft using interface here you are seeing this is the 10 100 dbt and this is for the usb and this is used for the access the craft so here again the failure in the slot 16 so we'll move on the slot 17 power card slot 17 sub slot 1 so uh, this this is the zoom version of this so this is the slot 17 1 this is the power card this is the pack number so there are two power card input card in the slot 17 sub slot 1 and sub slot 3 this is a 16 ampere power input card for providing power to the self MIC card maintenance interface function so here you are seeing mm, this is the indications on the MIC card power critical major minor alarm ACO lamp test this is the uh, pack number so ACO lamp test push button is there white circle ACO RCV attention single LED to indication and ACO or receive attention condition this is the green circle critical red major and minor alarms indications the MIC provides the following functionality visual alarm indicator light emitting diodes for critical major and minor alarms that are active on the self self power status indicates self is receiving sufficient power for power interface 1 and power interface B enable the self processor to receive LAN or DT communication from the access panel alarm cutoff button cuts off the alarm and performs lamp test using the push button switch power card in slot uh, 17 slot 13 uh, sorry 3 fan unit so there are the three fan units on the top of the self the cooling unit contains three fans and draws air from the bottom of the self through an air filter and vents to the front rear or top of the self depending on the cooling fans although power control and alarm signals are backwards compatible with the existing rectangular flow cooling fan module the high performance fan provides increased air flow in the high flow cooling fan module so these three fan modules are used to keep all the cells, all the cards or the slot cool. Fan unit in 15 slot 2 and 3. There are three fan units. Access panel. So here you are seeing this is the access panel. And the Jew version of this access panel are showing below this. So here you are seeing this is this is the access panel here and this half portion is this and the other half portion is this so uh, on zoom you can see all the ports there are ECI ESO ESI ESO and the DT alarms telemetry colon A colon B island in island out colon X these are the different interfaces on the access panel so there are the different ports in the access panel ESO ESI these are the external synchronization output for timing distribution LAN in LAN out this is the inter office LAN and provide 100 or 10 connectivity from the 6500 to substance self or self management for the self management this LAN in and LAN out port can be used DT this is the asynchronous and RS232 interface for remote dial in access through modem to the 6500 port is switched to the active self processor colon X central office LAN provides switched 1000 bit connectivity between the carriers DCN and the 6500 colon a it provides the connectivity between the carriers dcn and the specific specified self processor 
telemetry port enable the customer to convert external environmental equipment to the 6500 like fire and uh, flood alarms so these are the inter different interface and their functionality so these uh, all are well, all are the description about the 6500 self view for the details in the card we will uh, dis discuss in the next session so thanks for watching